Just to the west of the mighty Mississippi, we're at the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. It's the home opener of this new season between the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Folks around here in high spirits. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendars since about midwinter. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams are sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen. And we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play by play is coming up next. Hargrove gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can only win your first big league game once, and in his last start, he did just that. I'm sure that ball is put away someplace very special. Nothing more he'd like to do than get win number two here in this one. The Wong will stand in. He the will lead this one off today. Colton. First delivery yeah. to him. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play this afternoon. They haven't quite been able to get on track yet. They come in two and four over their first six games. First yeah, Matty, to expect to go through the course of a long season and just dominate every every game, every team, is just a foolish thought process. Oh, You're going to have these little hiccups throughout the course of the season. I think they keep you honest and keep you real and keep you on the attack. Let's see if they fight today. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Molina corrals it, but it's not in time. And he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner reaches anyway. And that'll bring forth Luis Urias. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ball up. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. And ha. looks at a changeup in there. One and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, d -Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And that misses two and two. two, and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Wong gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he got him. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches.
That brings up Prince Fielder. As the first oh. pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Ball. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position no. to do some damage in this first inning. Set. Here's the 3 1. Right two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four seamer. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Nope. And ball he lays four. off Take here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. It's all a part of learning how to that pitch in the big leagues. Major the League center hitters center. will not bail you out by swinging at pitches no out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Next up is Christian Yelich. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch on the way as he looks That's at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. one. Runners are at first and second with one away. And that swung on and missed one on and the pitch one. down. One and one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. A one one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One, two. Pitch taken uh -huh. several inches below the zone, in fact. First and second now, one man out. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Narvaez is on deck. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Take and he base. misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. So here is Narvaez. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. From the belt, the pitch. Ball, that time. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Right. In for a strike, it's one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. One and one, here it is. Hey! Ooh, that was some gas. One ball, two strikes. Triple digits on the radar gun. Oh. 
Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The next one two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. There's one on the pitcher covering the first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. So now here is Ozzie Smith. He'll lead things off here in the bottom here half of the first. First eight Lewis. Not shortstop. Ozzie. Now here it comes. Yeehaw. Dan Vero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they haven't quite been able to get on track yet. They come in two and four over their first six games. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line to line. This team swung the bats well. You know, I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting second. Now a no moment here in St. Louis to look at the Louis. Cardinals' starting lineup. Mark Bro. DeRosa, what's the key to them starting out 1-0 and here at home? Matty, I know I'm stating the obvious, but the middle of the order has to come through today. You got guys that are playing way above their pay grade on the periphery, and it's time for them to look and see the big boys do their job. In now, Lou Brock runs up and gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. That is good. The white field. My goal. Lou. Stepping in now, Michael Lee. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Throw over to first, and hey, the runner back safely. One and zero pitch on the way. What? Good tailing action there. It's one and one. Good speed at first, and good speed with the guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you've got to get rid of it quick. Brock leads off first with one away. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. The one one home. Oh. Two and one to count. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Runners on first with one down. Round ball to third, and they could get two. A second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. And inning in the books. No score here on the show. Now to bat, Avisail Garcia is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0-1. Hit 
hit out towards second. Scooped up on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is seven. The third base. So here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw as he takes a fastball no, off the that's plate that's for a ball 1-0. and all. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. That's a ball. Easy That's take the there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. He's falling behind one. now. Three and one. Now here's the pitch. Full count. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The three two pitch. There's ball That's four. Outside, ball four. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. So a runner at first with one out now. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. O'Neill is there now, and he has it to gone. Batting up. The pitcher, number 39, Corbin. Burns. So a runner at first with two away. And in to hit next will be Corbin Burns. From the stretch. Right, oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Nope. Oh. One pitch shy of 40 for one him one. right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. One and two to count. No score here as we play any number two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Brewers strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mark McGuire. He'll get us going here in the, the bottom half of hit. the second. Mark McGuire. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. No, that's outside. Ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. There's a that's cut it. fastball ball. that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Now the 2-1 pitch. Another 
foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking. Strike three. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored. Looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. To the plate now, Yadier Molina. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Batting foot. The center field. Tyler. Oh, here. The next to bat for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. He's set. Here it comes. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. And Wong will make the catch to retire the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Here's the second baseman Colton Wong. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Here's the first pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 0 2. Well one, two, below the now. knees, laid off on the changeup there. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Fouled off. Another one, two. Bounce towards the second baseman. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter, number two, shortstop, Luis Urias. And now here is Luis Urias. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready. Here's the first pitch. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Third inning, no score to this point. A bouncer up the middle. And then that's the second out. Now, this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Standing in now, Prince Fielder. As he'll take a look at ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. High chopper over to the right side. Fielded cleanly. Throw cleanly yeah. into first, and that ends the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. Home half of the third coming up. No score.
bottom of the inning now. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Set and the pitch. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And now pitch on the way. No, that missed. That's the ball. That's a ball. Well, that sets up a big Three pitch ball, right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around a leadoff walk. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Here's the 3 2. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. Drives it out to deep right center field. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. Batting it. The second baseman, Tommy Edmund. That brings in Tommy Edmund, who was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. First offering on its way. Sent out to straightaway center field. Yelich is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting nut. The pitcher, Seth Hargrove. Now into the box, Seth Hargrove. First pitch on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And foul. Oh and one here it comes. Breaking one, ball two. that time that misses out of the zone. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. Oh and two but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. Three innings complete and we are tied nothing nothing. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian with you as the left handed hitting Christian Yelich settles in to start out the inning. Delivery to him. Christian Yelich nope, is ball. in to start things off as he looks at a one ball to start the inning. One and zero. Oh. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. One ball, one this is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. One one. Swung on and missed for strike one number two. Strike. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Ball. To two balls and two strikes two, now. Two.
Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Narvaez waits on deck. Payoff pitch home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The next 3 2. Gets him looking up around the letters. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Into the box, Narvaez. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Change up one laid one. off down around the shins. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring up Abisayu Garcia. Now here it comes. As he'll take a look at a That's sinker down. here, That's too low for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. And not a real good one cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Here he comes again, one, two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. O'Neill looks up. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Avisail Garcia has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. That brings Not up bad. the left-handed hitting Good Travis piece. Shaw. Travis. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No ball. Worked one a walk in his first plate appearance. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball and he sets him down for out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Milwaukee.
stepping in once again is Ozzie Smith. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ozzie Smith. Now the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The left fielder, number 20. Move. Rock. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And in steps the all time Cardinal great Lou Brock. From the stretch. Now a flare out to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Man, that swing looked like self defense than a real quality right swing, but hey, eight. he muscled it out there, and Let it was go. enough to get him safely to second. Mm. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So now to the plate, Michael Lee as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. Oh. Oh. How about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to two and one. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Set. Here's the 3 1. Nope, and that misses four. ball four. Advantage. So, with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Well, he loses them there, but that's just the first four. walk he's given up, Mid along four. with a couple of hits. So, his command has been pretty solid so far. So, now it'll be the four hole hitter, Mark McGuire. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First offering. Oh, that's it. Drilled to the left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. The throw to third. The tying run is in the score from second. It's one to one. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. And this is a nice decision here in the outfield. The run's going to score easily, but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third, so he gets off a really good throw to gun him down. In now, Yadier Molina pitch inside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily in second. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. That is fouled away. One ball and one strike. McGuire at second with two down. Down low, oh, two down. balls and a strike. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The set and the 2 2. Down and full. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch.
got him swinging, and that's the third out. It's a run on two hits, one left. We played four full, all tied at one and one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Late now, Corbin Burns. Yeah. He will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. Struck out in his first at bat. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around. And these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. A slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Just behind the oh, fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, if the beat goes on, that's number eight. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out this side on nine pitches. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Heidi. The center fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And now a pitch on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Third baseman, Nolan 
Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch coming. Here it is. Off the no, plate and away is. there. One ball, no strikes. One and up. And he falls That's behind now. Two and oh. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Three no, and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And that's, that's low, ball, ball four. four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. No he's batter, capable of digging deep every time Second he digs in, man. so it's not the Tony. worst thing in the world to work around him that's if you can. Man. in the inning here with the runner at first and that'll bring in Tommy Edmund. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. The 1 0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Garcia at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now oh, to the plate, the Hardgrove. pitcher, Seth no pitcher. Hardgrove, struck out yeah. in his last trip to the Hardgrove. plate. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. On the move is Garcia. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Cards leave one. We played five full, tied at one aside. So stepping in is Luis Urias. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Here comes the 0 1. Well behind oh, that two. fastball. It's a swinging strike. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound Up right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it. But I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Into the box now, Prince Fielder. As the first pitch that sinker is, misses to him, it's ball one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. it up one and one I know he fouled that pitch off right there but he was definitely out in front he was cheating to a heater no question about it the one one home squared that one up just a little late Oh, the old classic two-strike, let's throw the fastball right down the middle. 
not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. Count even at two and two. Looking for his tenth strikeout. Here's the pitch. Sinker three and two now. Waiting next. There's Christian Yelich. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Good battle. Count remains full. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field. The base hit. Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat and he's able to work a base hit. He threw, he threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. He threw all speed pitches, fastballs, and on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate. Just enough for a base hit. In is Christian Yelich as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Home. A swing and a miss, strike one. one. One Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. One and two for Christian Yelich. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two and two's the count. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Omar Narvaez right. as he will take a fastball in there at the oh, knees for strike one. No hits to this point. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Shot to third. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. As he swings and hits a laser to right. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Brewers strand a couple. Score remains tied one-to-one. -one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Here Stepping in, Ozzie Smith. He'll get things That's started here in the second half I'll of the sixth. There. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. And one here it comes. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Yeah. 
the left fielder, number 20, Lou Brock. First things first, here's a throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. Another look to first, no, no, no. keeping particularly Dang. close tabs on him. Into the box, Lou Brock. And the slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Two hits and two trips more in thus far. Here's a look over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. The 1 0 home. Oh. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Smith aboard here at first with nobody out. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Now the 2-1. Popped up. Fielder is under it as he puts it away for round number one. The right fielder, number eight, Michael Lee. So the next to bat will be Michael Lee. He's set. Here it comes. Yeehaw! Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Runner at first here, one man out. And there's ball, ball one. One and one. No offer two on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. Hey. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Runners on first with one down. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. A stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Once again a 3 2. Fly ball out to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The first baseman, number 25, Mark McGuire. Now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Mark McGuire. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. That's the ball. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. From the belt, the pitch. And they pitch out two here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. 
That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Raging back is Bradley. Adios. Pelota. And good for him. Mark McGuire has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Standing in now, Yadier Molina, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Sinker, one ball, one strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One one. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two out, nobody on. Two and two to uh -huh. the Cardinals oh. catcher. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls yeah, off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And Count it's a miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. For the guy on the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch popped up. Fielder in foul ground. And he makes the catch to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9 due up to start the seventh. It's now 3-1 St. Louis. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go as the third baseman, Travis Shaw. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high, so this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Right. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right hander have stood up. A 1 1. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Well, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. 
Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll take a look at a oh. curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Bradley waits on the 1 0. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Ryan Braun will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number eight, Ryan Braun. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Too much no, dip on the sinker. Ball. Laid off for a ball. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Here comes the one two. Two two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Into the corner and slicing foul. Bradley, base runner at first with one out. And he lays off the ball four. Ball so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And when your pitch no, count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Here comes the Cardinal manager up out of the dugout, out to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were Ladies to come and around and score. Your attention, please. Now, so they'll make a matchup the move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. up. Come right on. First assignment here is he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He's set and the pitch. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly oh, in the hole, 0 oh 2. Runners are at first and second with one away. Popped him up. And the first baseman can't get there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One, two. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. First and second now, one man out. Able to 
attack the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. Another one two delivery. Two two. Still even at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Up next now, the with two outs, it becomes a lot the more difficult out. to manufacture mm -hmm. that guy home. Mm -hmm. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Next, here is Luis Urias. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fastball. And ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. So now to the plate, Prince Fielder. And the nope. first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Two and oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Yeah. Two and one. The set and the two and one. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. The Brewers leave them loaded. They still trail it here three to one. Trevor Richards gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. Last half of the seventh here, here and next perfect. will be a speed threat in the field. form of outfielder Tyler, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, now here's the first offering as he takes a fastball oh. off the plate for a ball one and oh. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Balls and a strike no, to the ball. St. Louis leadoff hitter. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two.
Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. One away. Now batting. The third baseman, Nolan Aranado. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. One ball, no strike. Richards is at least partially known for a good changeup. And it's not just any change of speed pitch. It dances all over the place. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Chopped to third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting Second streak. Baseman. Yeah, and he didn't come Tommy. out of his he didn't come out of what he was and trying man. to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is. He hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 0 and 1 delivery. Arenado stands at first with one out. And he doesn't get much on the swing here as this is pulled down the first baseline. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Cardinals are out in front, three to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Andrew Miller will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Matt Carpenter is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And here's Christian Yelich now. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. He's a 333 hitter. He's taken it deep once. First pitch on the way. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Two and oh to the Brewers center fielder. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. It all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Too high. Three and balls, it's zero three and oh. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind two and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. The 3 1. Yeah. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Full count. Skied down the left field line. On the run is Brock, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Got me close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, 
going to have to do it no, right that now. Is, that's the Omar Narvaez stands in as he looks at ball one here. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And he two misses and again. Two and oh. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one Looks strike. to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate. That's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run, but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Brock. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now back. Next to dig in, Abisail Garcia. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Yeah. Strike taken up in the zone. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. That's the ball. That misses wide. One ball, one ball and one, one strike. strike. And he misses no, that two and miss, one. That's the ball. Two and one's the count. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and that'll cut the lead down to one. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show okay. track technology okay. more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour yeah. was the exit velocity of that line drive. Robin Young will be summoned off the bench here. So pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. One pitch. And that's in there as well. 0 oh, and 2 now. Hey, you know, in the back of your mind, as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0 oh, 2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Up and in one here as he strike. had to bend out of danger. Here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. O'Neill will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Now batting the left fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Lorenzo Kane will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at first. Lorenzo King. Quick check on that time oh, run at first. Safe. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No balls in one strike. Both teams with six hits so far. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Go to second for the force out, and the side is retiring. Two hits lead to a run here for Milwaukee. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Dan Plezak will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. 
Tyrone Taylor will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Striding in is Matt Carpenter, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Carpenter. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Wow. I don't know if he needs a few more warm-up pitches or he's just announcing his presence with authority. Either way, watch your face. The 1-0. There's a fastball ball. taken high for a ball. 2-0 to count. Down low, and that clock thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Into the windup and the pitch. Good. That one's in there. Three and one. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game. When guys get count leverage and take fastballs, it's a game of fastballs. You calibrate ah. everything off the heater. Surprising take count right there. The 3 2 pitch. It swung on and missed strike three. A look there at the numbers for our two Number starters here Number today. With both guys Good recently job. departed from the ball okay. game and looking on from the dugout. Yeah. Digging in next, Ozzy Smith. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the AB now. In the center field, line drive base hit. Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little bit of an ambush. Oh, oh, heater gets turned around. Plate, Lou Brock in there. Now the throw. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one run game. So that's a little risky. But hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Goodness. 0 oh 2 oh now. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. One, two. No, Line to the right side. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The right field. Right field. So Lee. next to hit is Michael Lee, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And so take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. The 2-0 pitch. 
three and oh now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's the 3 0. And with two away and an open base, he wasn't going to see anything there. That's a four pitched walk. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. At the plate now, Mark McGuire. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Smith at second, Lee on at first with two down. Again, another foul ball. Ready on 0 2. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Hard strand a couple, and it remains a 3 2 ball game. Suter takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking now to close the door. Number 42. Oh. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Tyrone Taylor. First pitch on its way. Oh and one. Good pitch there go down on. below the zone. Right. Got him to go after it. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That yeah, elevated that, fastball. That Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. And now Colton Wong lifted the other way to left center. On the run is O'Neal. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting. Brewers down to their final out now. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. First offering on its way. 1-0. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Forty three thousand nine hundred seventy five fans on their feet now here in St. Louis swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. St. Louis wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Seth Hargrove earns the win, his second, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Bruce Souter closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Brewers, two runs, six hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.